What's going on people and welcome back to the channel. I go by the name of Mr. Midas. Now you could have been anywhere in the world right now, but you are with me and I appreciate that. Now I got this invitation in the mail. Yes, we get to be some of the first in the world to play Redfall. And I'm super excited to see what this game is. So let's check it out. Redfall, vampires, guns and superpowers, but this is not what I expected. Redfall is Bethesda's new open world Xbox and PC FPS, which sees you or a squad taking now vampires and their minions in Arkane's new shooter, which didn't completely click with me. Now I've been excited for Redfall from the initial reveal trailer. I love the art style, the character designs, and come on, I love me some vampires. Now for our preview, we got 90 minutes hands on in the solo single player campaign only. And the footage that you're seeing is B-roll provided to us by the devs as we weren't able to capture on the day and we got to play on PC. So a few things immediately jump out to me when we are talking about Redfall. The first is the game feels a lot slower than I initially expected it to be. Now in the announcement trailers and the showcases, it gave me a fast paced team co-op in the Bat for Blood vein. But Arcane Shooter is a lot more tactical and story based and unlocking and opening up fractions. Now the second thing that springs to mind is how spooky this game is. No, we're not talking no Resident Evil horror, but the vampires are not just floating puppets. You hear them talking to you in your head, making spooky sounds, and the story missions are really dark and have an edgy tone to it. For the preview, I chose to play as Layla, as I love her look and vibe, and each pro tag has signature moves and their own skill tree. She had a really cool move where she called her dead ex-boyfriend to help her mess up some enemies around. She also has a sick move where she puts an umbrella in front to protect from enemy shooting and then breaks the umbrella to shoot out some projectiles. These skills made every character feel distinctive and gives them all a great vibe. Now vampires have taken over and it's your time to kick some ass and Arcane has given you a dope set of weapons. We got to see a wide range including the horror show semi-automatic being my favourite. The shooting in Redfall feels good but some weapons are a little lacklustre. Vampires don't just die by gunshots, you have to stake them in the heart once you've taken them down. And you won't just be shooting the undead, there's plenty of sellout minions for you to shoot up as well. I do feel like some of the vampires enemies felt so spongy when we were shooting them and you can get overwhelmed pretty easy when you're inside a building. The story missions did have some cool and simple puzzles and it was pretty linear so I'm really interested to see how this works in co-op. Playing Redfall has really confused me. When I go to preview events, I'm lucky enough to go to a lot, I get a great understanding really quickly how I feel about this game. And I'm a bit confused because I didn't love my time playing with Redfall but I also found it fun. But I think that's because I played in solo mode and I'm super interested to see how this game plays and feels in co-op. I'm super excited that Redfall is coming to Games Pass so I'll be able to jump on with friends and see how the team co-op gameplay really is. Can't lie, I'm not excited to experience a single player at all. But how do you feel about Redfall? Are you super excited to jump into Arcane's new shooter? Are you looking to play co-op mode like I want to or are you going to go into single player? Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. You are the NVPs. Make sure you give us that thumbs up. And if you're not subbed already, come on, join the golden gang and hit that subscribe. I've been Mr. Midas, you've been the NVPs and we out of here. Peace.